having a great day today. As you can see, we are back in the Magic Kingdom today in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and we are continuing our series of pipe organs of Walt Disney World, and this is part two of the Magic Kingdom. Now, if you haven't seen part one, we looked at a couple of the pipe organs that you can find here in the park, but I missed a few. So I would definitely recommend you go check that video out. I'm gonna, I'll do a little recap as we head around the park right now, but I'm gonna put it up in the cards so that you can go and watch that. So go watch that first, see what we covered in the last one, and then we'll come back and we will get to the organs that I missed. So here's part two of the Pipe Organs of the Magic Kingdom. So the last time we were here, we took a look at three different pipe organs that you can actually find here in the Magic Kingdom. And if you didn't see that video, we'll just go through a brief recap as we're headed out there today. The first one we looked at was in the Swiss Family Treehouse, and it was not a true pipe organ in the traditional sense that you'd think of as a church instrument, but it was in fact a reed organ. A reed organ is similar to a pipe organ in that it uses pipes and it has different sounds that you can come, but the sound is produced by air vibrating over reeds instead of actually running through pipes like with a traditional pipe organ. So that was the first one that we looked at. The second organ that we looked at was in the queue to the Haunted Mansion. So we looked at the Ravenscroft organ that you can find and even sort of play yourself in the queue to the Haunted Mansion. And then the last one that we looked at is the one that is in the banquet scene inside the Haunted Mansion itself. At the end of that video, I put out a challenge and I said, there's one other place in the Magic Kingdom that you can find example, that you can actually hear pipe organ. You don't actually get to see it, but you can, you can hear it. And that was in the, I'm going to forget the name of it, the, the Voyage of the Little Mermaid, I think is what it is. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. I'll put the correct name in there. Well, it turns out that that was not the only place that you could hear organ music. There's two other places that you can hear organ music in the Magic Kingdom, and there's several other examples of organs that I miss. Now, like the Swiss Family Treehouse, they are variations on organs, but we will definitely go and check those out. So let's go to the first place that you can actually hear organ music. So as I'm sure you probably all know, this, the success of this channel, it all comes down to Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's fitting that we actually get to come back to Pirates for this uh, next example of organ music in yeah. Disney World. This is not an organ that you can see, but this is a place that you can actually hear organ music. The most requested video, or the most requested cover that I had after Pirates was the Davy Jones theme. And of course, Davy Jones is our resident Disney organist. And his theme that you get to hear in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, includes a lot of organ music. Well, there is one spot in the Pirates of the Caribbean Plaza that you can actually hear the Davy Jones theme. So now you kind of have to go out of your way to find this, but if you use the bathrooms that are on the way out from Pirates of the Caribbean, you can hear songs from the Pirates soundtrack in there, including, at least at the time of this recording in October of 2018, you can hear the Davy Jones theme, so you will actually get to hear organ music if you happen to be passing through there. It's possible that you might be able to hear it in other places in the plaza, but that's one place where it's the clearest and it's easiest to hear. So that is definitely something to check out. So from here, we're going to move on into Frontierland for the next organ that you can actually see. Now, like the Swiss Family Treehouse, this is not a true pipe organ. It's a pipe organ derivative, and it is actually the calliope that you can find on the steamship at the end of Splash Mountain. So we're going to go and check that out. Okay, our wait time for Splash Mountain is a half an hour, so let's do this. So calliopes are similar to or pipe organs in that they function by air moving through the pipes. What's different about calliopes, though, is that they typically rely on compressed air or frequently steam. 
That's why they were very popular on riverboats um, back in the early 1900s because it was very easy to provide the steam needed to run them. Calliopes, <laughs> unlike, well, organs are loud. Calliopes could be uh, much louder though and could frequently be heard for miles and miles away from the, the riverboats. Like pipe organs, they have the option to be played by a person, but they can also be mechanized, and so it can be something that's pre-recorded and just kind of runs on a loop, similar to another instrument that we're going to be touching on a little bit later in this video. Calliopes were limited in size, mostly due to where they were located, and so this of course limits the different sounds that they can have, but they still have a very distinct sound, and it's still close enough to a pipe organ that I thought it was worth checking out for this video. Let's go take a look at it. I'll see you inside. We may get a little wet. And I'm soaked before the ride's even gotten started. This may be the wettest I've ever gotten on this ride, and this is the worst spot for it. completely soaked figures the one time I try to record a video I get absolutely drenched in every possible spot on the ride although it's probably a good thing because had I not been recording my phone would have been in my pocket and gotten wet so next we're gonna head off to another place that you can hear the organ and I think you will recognize it because we spent a lot of time there in the last video so as I'm sure you've probably guessed by now we are back at the Haunted Mansion so at the end of the last video that I did here, I stood here and said, where can you tell, I want you to tell me where you can find and hear organ music. Well, little did I know you only had to walk about 100 feet to find another example where you could actually hear organ music. In the extended queue to the Haunted Mansion that really is only in use on busy days, it goes down through the docks for the Liberty Bell, but you can hear music in the background and it is an organ version of the song that plays throughout the Haunted Mansion at Grim Grinning Ghosts. Now, I was over here a little bit earlier today and it's really faint, so I don't know that you're gonna be able to hear it. But, if you're ever here on a very busy day and you are coming through this part of the queue right here, you will be able to hear the Grim Grinning Ghosts theme on the organ. Continuing on from the Haunted Mansion, and we're actually going to touch on every single land here except Main Street, although we walked down Main Street and talked about organs, so I'm going to count that as touching on every single land in the Magic Kingdom. 
We're now headed over to Fantasyland and probably a controversial omission from my last video. Someone left me a comment that said Cinderella, Cinderella's carousel, now known as Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, should have a band organ. And they're absolutely right because Cinderella's Carousel does in fact have a band organ. And I knew this when I recorded the last minute, the last video. The reason that I chose to leave it off though is that band organs are played um, entirely mechanically. There's never any, perf any person that uses them. There are a couple exceptions here and there, but for the most part, they were used by carnivals, and so it was something that, it was a machine that was pre-recorded, and they're very loud, and they have all kinds of different things. So they have pipes that they use, but they also have bells, whistles, percussion, xylophones, all kinds of things that are not typically associated with the pipe organ. And because most of the time they're not actually played by people, but they're played by, a, you know, a mechanical action, I chose not to include it. But for this video, I thought we would touch on it. So here we come to Cinderella's, or Prince Charming, whichever you prefer, carousel. So as you can see, the carousel is currently under renovation, so we can't see everything clearly. And I was a little bit disappointed when I was looking around earlier today because the band organ that I swear I saw last time I was here is nowhere to be found. Earlier today, I went on a played a game of Stump the Cast Member, trying to find out if anyone knew anything about it, and unfortunately, I could not get anywhere with that. I found some kind of blurry pictures, and I'm going to do a little more research to see if I can find a better example, because I, I feel certain that I saw a band organ at this, but it is not here today. Now, you can kind of hear in the background, um, and this is definitely a, uh, a recording of a band organ, and you can hear how it has that carnival or fair sound to it, which is very typical of carousels. And so if I can't find a picture of this one, I'll at least include one so that you know what it looks like. You've probably seen it if you've ever ridden a carousel at a fair or an amusement park. You probably know what I'm talking about, and you recognize that distinct sound that comes from it, but unfortunately I can't show it to you because it's not here. So since last time I left you all hanging with the question of where can you find it and the answer to that question at the time was in Under the Sea with the Little Mermaid, why don't we go check that scene out next? I'll just tell you how it ends. No, wait. I got an idea. I'll start at the beginning. you got to hear the organ music from Under the Sea, we're going to go and check out the other band organ that you can find here in the Magic Kingdom. This one is in particular known as a brass band organ because it does specifically brass instruments and you'll see that when we get up to the pipes. I chose. Come on in and meet the world's most astonishing acts. Located outside of Pete's Silly Circus in the Storybook Circus part of Fantasyland, we have the Melody Time Brass Band. As you can see, the pipes are designed to both look and sound like brass instruments, trumpets, trombones, etc. Now, unfortunately, this instrument is for display only, so we don't actually get to hear what it sounds like, but it's still something that you can go and check out for yourself. 
Incidentally, the name of this band organ refers to Disney's 10th animated film, Melody Time, which, like Mary Poppins, was a combination of live action and animation. Moving on now from Storybook Circus and Fantasyland, the next instrument that we're going to look at is truly out of this world. If you've ever been to Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in Tomorrowland, you may have seen the famous entertainer none known as Sunny Eclipse. Now, Sunny Eclipse performs by himself with his intergalactically famous astro organ. Now, I don't know what exactly an astro organ is, but since it probably comes from some alien spacefaring culture, it's probably not going to be an organ like we think of. But let's go check it out anyway. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a crowd. You know, I recently heard the universe was expanding. Guess it's time to loosen the old asteroid belt. For those of you just joining me, I'm Sunny Eclipse, bringing you the sunny side of entertainment all the way from the planet Zork. That was Sunny Eclipse and his Astro Organ. And while space instruments are clearly light years ahead of ours with what they can do, I'm not sure I'd call that an organ. I didn't hear any pipes in there and I certainly didn't see any, but he definitely had a lot more instruments represented than my little old pipe organ at home does. So I guess we'll give that to our alien friends up there with what they do with musical instruments. Style-wise, I think he's kind of uh, several decades behind us, but, you know, it's timeless. So the last organ on our stop today is in kind of an unlikely place, although a lot of these have been, let's face it, a lot of these have been in unlikely places, but the last organ that we're going to come to today is found on a roller coaster. I'm speaking, of course, of the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Now, you might be wondering where on earth on a roller coaster we'd find an organ. And this kind of comes full circle to where we started. We started with the reed organ in the Swiss Family Treehouse, and we end with the reed organ from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If you remember in the movie, there's a scene where after Snow White and the dwarves have dinner, they all get up and start dancing, and it turns out that the dwarves actually have a reed organ. I don't remember off the top of my head who plays it, but I'll research that and put it in here. This scene has been preserved at the end of the roller coaster, and we'll get to see that in a minute, but this one has a lot of nostalgia for me because it's actually a holdover from the old Snow White Scary Adventure, which actually used to be located right in this area. This was the original Snow White attraction here in the Magic Kingdom and holds a special place in my heart. I always enjoyed it. It was a classic Disney dark ride, but it also happens to be the first attraction that I ever took my daughter on. And I realized after we got on it that might not have been the best choice for a one and a half year old girl to go on a scary adventure, but she absolutely loved it. And that was her initiation into being a Disney fan. So we're going to go ahead now and we are going to ride Mine Train and you will get to see the, reed, the Seven Dwarfs Reed Organ at the end. Our last organ.
Morgan there went by pretty quick, but hopefully you got a good look and we have one of the dwarfs, I still don't know which one, playing it. But that's going to round out our tour of the organs of the Magic Kingdom today. So we've seen seven, I'm sorry, eight different instruments. We've seen the Swiss Family Treehouse, the two at the Haunted Mansion, the Calliope on Splash Mountain, the missing in action band organ from Cinderella Carousel and the other one over in Storybook Circus. We have, of course, um, Sunny Eclipse's Astro organ and the reed organ from Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs. We also, of course, have three places that you can hear organ music, um, Under the Sea with a Little Mermaid, the Pirates of the Caribbean Plaza, probably mostly going to hear it if you're using the restrooms over there, and of course, outside the Haunted Mansion in the extended queue. I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. Leave me a comment as well, and I have, I have two questions for you that I want you to answer down in the comments. The first is, which of all the organs we've seen is your favorite? And then the second is, what is your favorite attraction in the Magic Kingdom? I also have a challenge for you guys. Since at the end of the last video, I very definitively said there was only one other instance, instance of organ music in the Magic Kingdom, and I got proved very wrong, as this video is evidence, I'm challenging you guys to find another place in the Magic Kingdom where you can find organ music. I'm sure there probably are other examples. There are a couple of attractions that I don't go on regularly, such as Country Bear Jamboree and Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. So there might be other places that I've still missed. So that is my challenge to you, is to go out, use your eyes and ears, and try to find some other place in the Magic Kingdom that has organ music. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media, and if you'd like to help to support the channel, I would encourage you to consider becoming one of my Patreons. You can find links to all these sites down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and I'm gonna let these pumpkins behind me give the last line. <laughs>